Hello everyone, welcome to JSTU. Today we are going to see about how to delete water sheds from online. This uh, online platform can be help us uh, to acquire timely information and the recent uh, update what watershed and related river and stream uh, data can be downloaded from this uh, online platform. This is very important and very necessary for uh, hydrological studies and watershed management. So uh, I will show you the steps how to uh, download this uh, watershed. Just go to Google and write MG, MG hydro, hydro dot com, dot com slash watershed watershed then search just click on the first which is global watershed so after clicking global watershed these types of platforms or uh, interfaces will appear then at the left side of the uh, this interface uh, which says click somewhere on the map to get started which means you can click somewhere to get started or to delineate your own uh, watershed based on your uh, interest of uh, or based on your uh, origin or based on your uh, study area or based on your country for example let me let me uh, select from my country of origin so let me select around this my intention is just uh, uh, delineating watershed. So I want to delineate watersheds. Uh, I'm, I'm ex exploring uh, uh, streams. As you can see here, this, this blue, uh, blue line indicates uh, watersheds and the blue polygon indicates lakes whereas the, this uh, gray line indicates administrative boundaries for each uh, province or each region so as uh, i told you this is uh, mm, uh, the rivers or the streams so i can uh, select one of the uh, outlets i can uh, select or I can uh, set the outlets uh, as uh, then click on options then the option directory will be uh, expanded then when you click to upstream delimit watershed there are two options which include uh, downstream trace uh, flow paths and upstream delimit watershed so there are two options one is delineating the watershed by setting the outlets and the other one is uh, tracing the flow paths, the flow paths of rivers. So let me select upstream delineate watershed. So let me select one uh, out, outlet around this. So then select your area of interest and uh, click on your watershed. When I click on this, it says upstream watershed. Then uh, delineate click on delineate this delineating let's wait the results yeah so when you click uh, this download uh, options make downloadable results which uh, if checked all the new water sheds and flow buses will be uh, downloaded downloaded so uh, you can check all this for water sheds display Click on rivers and streams. Click on watershed boundary. If I uncheck, the, uncheck this watershed boundary, it disappears. When I check this boundary, this uh, option, the watershed boundary uh, already appears. Then when uh, you tick this, the watershed outlet also appears. But when you uncheck, the watershed boundary also disappears. Then you can uh, see you can see the, the you can also see the statistical data of this watershed delineated watershed of 42,000 square kilometers 
or 60,000 square miles with an outlet near coordinates. This is the information of the coordinate systems of the outlets. Then you can uh, download your watershed boundary and you can download your rivers in terms of uh, shape files, JSON or KML. Uh, at the same time, the watersheds can be downloaded in the form of SHAP, JSON, and KML. So first, let us uh, download the watershed uh, boundary. Click on SHAP, which, which means SHAP file, then click. New download. Do you want to download? Yes, download now. Yeah, open folder. So, watershed, uh, let me cut from this and take to my uh, data, watershed boundary in terms of zip file. What is left here is that the streams or the watershed streams. Click on uh, reverse of SHAP file. Click on this. Okay, download now. open folder so yeah okay reverse let me cut from this and take to my destination folder paste here good so reverse and watershed has been uh, successfully uh, here is watersheds and here is the rivers, and they are independently downloaded from uh, this wat global watershed uh, online platform. So let me first extract this watershed, extract files, okay. Let me extract also rivers, right click on rivers and uh, click on extract files. Okay, let me open our map and uh, display uh, these uh, watersheds uh, and it is uh, streams or rivers. Then click on our map, add data. Then go to the folder where you put your own your uh, downloadable data. Let me add rivers and boundaries. Yeah. This is a boundary and this is the rivers that are downloaded from global watershed uh, platform. Yeah, as you can see, the same. So we can make some amendments on symbology. This one. Okay. Okay. So, in order to be fully understandable and fully, uh, in order to be fully understandable and usable, let us make a layout for this map. Click on view, then layout view. Yes, let us increase the scale of this map. Let us make this uh, layout view to uh, landscape orientation. Go to file. Go to page and print setup. Select this landscape. Okay. Uh, let us add the map elements. So go to insert. Go to legend. Next, 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 next. Finish. So this is reverse and watershed. Let us make some amendments on legend. Select all. Legend, let us add the symbols times new Roman times new Roman. This one apply okay. So let us go to items, select all, go to this times new Roman, new Roman, go to the increase the font size to 15 and hit the 
Bold one, apply, okay. Yes. Let me make to this one. Yes. Let us insert another map element, which is not the arrow. You can select your own uh, favorite, but let me select this one for my purpose. Yes. Let me put here. Yes. Let me insert another important thing. A scale bar, which is a scale. Okay. Yes, as you can see here, the unit of measurement is minus, so click on the, right click on this scale bar and go to properties in order to change the miles into kilometers of unit of measurement. Division units, miles, change into kilometers and uh, change the, the level, how this is uh, the level, how it uh, display on the map, so KM. Apply. Okay. So the unit of measurement is changed into km or kilometers. Then what is left here is that click on this. When it selects, right click on the properties. Then go to new grids. The next. Let me. Uh, this is the interval. How the longitude and the latitude will appear. Degree one minute, degree zero, degree one, one degree. Let me decrease to zero. Let me decrease to zero and to ten, to ten and thirty seconds and thirty seconds, thirty seconds. Okay. Okay. Next. Next, next, finish. Apply. Okay. Yeah. As you can see here is that the lines are, uh, are appearing on this map, but uh, if you wanted to remove these lines, uh, right click on this data frame and go to properties. Then go to properties. Uh, go to lines, show us a grid of lines, this, that, that means this, I don't want, show us a grid of tickets, just like this, no, I don't want, don't show lines, so click OK, then apply, so let me insert also the uh, knit line, the color of the knit line to this one, OK, OK, let me insert title, what a head map of set area d area enter you can change the symbologies and associated uh, thing is change into times new roman and go to 22 okay apply apply okay so this is this is the watershed map of my study area then you can export this map as is various formats export map then let me watershed okay let me give the name to watershed let me okay export completed i have exported this map in terms of jpg okay let me go to my file and see my exported result okay jpg watershed excellent map has been uh, produced so this is what we have today but if you are new to this youtube channel you can comment share and subscribe but for today thank you for watching